Welcome to the Gaze into Cinema YouTube channel The historical backdrop of the pharaohs of Egypt Egypt is one of the most seasoned and most entrancing civilizations on the planet, and its pharaohs were its most remarkable and compelling rulers. For more than 3,000 years, the pharaohs ruled over old Egypt, directing a time of extraordinary flourishing and social accomplishment. The main pharaohs arose during the pre-dynastic time frame, circa 600 to 3100 BC when Upper and Lower Egypt were joined into a solitary realm. These early pharaohs were known as the Scorpion Lords and were covered in huge, elaborate burial places at Abydos. The Old Realm, circa 2686 to 2181 BC, is viewed as the brilliant period of antiquated Egypt. During this period, the pharaohs were at the level of their power and glory, and they dispatched the development of a significant number of Egypt's most famous landmarks, including the incomparable pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx. The most popular pharaoh of the Old Realm was Khufu, circa 2589 to 2566 BC, who constructed the incomparable pyramid of Giza. Khufu was a strong and aggressive ruler, and his pyramid is a demonstration of his riches and authority. Other prominent pharaohs of the Old Realm incorporate Djoser, circa 2630-2611 BC, who assembled the Step Pyramid of Saqqara, and Sneferu, circa 2613-2589 BC, who fabricated the Baud Pyramid and the Red Pyramid. The Old Realm reached a conclusion during the principal middle period, circa 2181-2055 BC, a period of political unsteadiness and financial decay. Nonetheless, the Center Realm, circa 2055 to 1650 BC, saw a restoration of imperial power and thriving. The most well-known pharaoh of the Center Realm was Amenemhat III, circa 1860 to 1814 BC, who constructed an enormous pyramid complex at Hoera. Amenemhat III was a savvy and kind ruler, and his rule is viewed as one of the most serene and prosperous in Egyptian history. The center realm reached a conclusion during the second transitional period, circa 1650 to 1550 BC, a period of unfamiliar intrusion and struggle under the surface. Nonetheless, the new realm, circa 1550 to 1069 BC, saw a revisitation of Egyptian significance. The most renowned pharaoh of the new realm was Thutmose III, circa 1479 to 1425 BC who drove Egypt into a time of military success and extension. Thutmose III's missions expanded Egyptian rule into Nubia and Syria, and he laid out Egypt as the predominant power in the area. Other remarkable pharaohs of the New Realm incorporate Akhenaten, circa 1353-1336 BC, who endeavored to acquaint another monotheistic religion with Egypt, and Tutankhamun, circa 1336-1327 BC whose burial chamber was found in 1922 and contained an abundance of fortunes. The new realm reached a conclusion during the late time frame, c. 1069-332 BC, a period of political insecurity and unfamiliar control. The last pharaoh of Egypt was Cleopatra VII, c. 69-30 BC, who was crushed by the Roman general Octavian at the Clash of Actium in 31 BC. The tradition of the pharaohs, the pharaohs of Egypt left an enduring heritage on the world. They administer the development of the absolute most famous landmarks ever, including the incomparable pyramids of Giza, the Sphinx, and the sanctuaries of Luxor and Karnak. They likewise fostered a mind-boggling and refined culture, which remembered progresses for composing, science, cosmology, and medication. The pharaohs of Egypt were likewise talented representatives and overseers. They kept up with exchange relations with different civilizations all through the Mediterranean and then some, and they fostered a modern arrangement of government that permitted them to control over a tremendous and various domain. The pharaohs of Egypt were respected by their subjects as divine beings, and their inheritance keeps on interesting individuals all over the planet today. Their landmarks and curios stand as a demonstration of their influence and riches, and their way of life keeps on impacting craftsmanship, writing, and film. Here is a more definite gander at probably the most well-known pharaohs of Egypt, Khufu, circa 2589 to 2566 BC Khufu was the second pharaoh of the fourth line and is most popular for building the incomparable Pyramid of Giza. 
the incomparable pyramid is one of the seven marvels of the antiquated world Djoser, circa 2630 to 2611 BC Djoser was the main pharaoh of the third line and is most popular for building the step pyramid of Saqqara. The step pyramid is the most established enduring pyramid in Egypt and is viewed as a forerunner to the incomparable pyramids of Giza. Sneferu, circa 2613 to 2589 BC Sneferu was the second pharaoh of the fourth line and is most popular for building the Baud Pyramid and the Red Pyramid. The Baud Pyramid is accepted to have been initially worked as a straight pyramid, however the point of the sides was changed during development, giving the pyramid its trademark twisted appearance. The Red Pyramid is the biggest pyramid in Egypt before the incomparable Pyramid of Giza and is made of rosy limestone. Amenemhat III, circa 1860-1814 BC Amenemhat III was the sixth pharaoh of the twelfth line and is viewed as quite possibly of the best pharaoh in Egyptian history. Amenemhat III regulated a time of harmony and thriving in Egypt and charged the development of numerous significant landmarks, including the mammoths of Memnon and the sanctuary of Mednet Habu. Thutmose III, circa 1479-1425 BC Thutmose III was the sixth pharaoh of the 18th administration and is viewed as quite possibly of the best military authority in Egyptian history. Thutmose III drove Egypt into a time of military triumph and extension, broadening Egyptian rule into Nubia and Syria. Akhenaten, circa 1353-1336 BC Akhenaten was the 10th pharaoh of the 18th tradition and is most popular for endeavoring to acquaint another monotheistic religion with Egypt. Akhenaten venerated a solitary god named Aten, the sun god, and he deserted the customary Egyptian pantheon of divine beings and goddesses. Akhenaten's strict changes were disagreeable with the Egyptian public and organization, and after his demise, the conventional religion was re-established. Tutankhamun, circa 1336-1327 BC Tutankhamun was the 12th pharaoh of the 18th line and is most popular for his very much saved burial place, which was found in 1922. Tutankhamun's burial chamber contained an abundance of fortunes, including gold gems, sculptures, and weapons. The revelation of Tutankhamun's burial place started a re-established interest in old Egypt and made Tutankhamun perhaps of the most popular pharaoh ever. Cleopatra VII, c. 69-30 BC Cleopatra VII was the last pharaoh of Egypt. She was a talented representative and overseer, and she figured out how to keep up with Egyptian freedom during a period of Roman control. Cleopatra VII was likewise an ally of human expression and sciences, and she established a library in Alexandria that was one of the biggest and most significant libraries in the Old World. The downfall of the pharaohs, the force of the pharaohs started to decline during the late time frame, c. 1069-332 BC. This was because of various variables, including unfamiliar attack, inner turmoil, and financial decay. In the 7th century BC, Egypt was vanquished by the Assyrians. The Assyrians controlled Egypt for more than a long period, however they were in the end ousted by the Nubians in the 6th century BC. The Nubians administered Egypt for more than 50 years, yet they were in the end crushed by the Persians in the 6th century BC. The Persians administered Egypt for more than 200 years, yet they were in the end ousted by Alexander the Incomparable in 332 BC. After Alexander's demise, Egypt was managed by a progression of Greek and Roman lines. The last pharaoh of Egypt was Cleopatra VII, who was crushed by the Roman general Octavian at the Clash of Actium in 31 BC. Conclusion The pharaohs of Egypt controlled for north of 3,000 years and left an enduring heritage on the world. They supervised the development of probably the most notorious landmarks ever, fostered a perplexing and refined culture, and kept up with exchange relations with different civilizations all through the Mediterranean and then some. The pharaohs of Egypt were likewise talented negotiators and managers, and they fostered a complex arrangement of government that permitted them to control over an immense and various domain. The tradition of the pharaohs of Egypt keeps on entrancing individuals all over the planet today. Their landmarks and curios stand as a demonstration of their influence and riches, and their way of life keeps on impacting workmanship, writing, and film. Thanks you for watching Max.